It's a sketch of a... Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. I should let you know Carl's body has arrived. Noted. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? What do you know about the murder in the museum? I was first at the scene. Poor woman. Looked like she had regained consciousness after some time and tried to crawl to the door. Sounds horrific. What do you think of Commissary Anderson? I have opinions about how he does things, but I keep those to myself. I respect the chain of command. What do you think of Walter? Oh, he's great. My little brother loves him to death. Yeah? You have no idea. He's quite the entertainer. But... What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? Do you mean professionally or personally? Is there a difference? I think he's a great doctor and coroner. But? Between you and me, he kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's almost like the recent deaths have cheered him up. But as I said, he does his job well. I understand. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there. Just lots of case files. I had a few questions, Cop. By all means. I'm trying to find out who lives in an apartment at Mamir Road. Any ideas? We have address records in here. Check the drawers behind me. Perfect. I'll have... That's all I needed. Very well. Just lots of... The drawers labeled address records. These should come in handy. Let's have a look. Katarina Berg, born February 2nd, 56 AR. Immigrated to Nordson on May 13th, 80 AR, which means she's been in Nordson for two years. I copied the information onto a loose page from my notebook. and a fingerprint? I had some more things to ask. Shoot. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? I don't recognize that name. Nope. What's your opinion on Volter? The... Oh, he's a bundle of laughs, isn't he? Nissa, his little robot, is an amazing tool. Seeing the whole process in a safe and playful space makes them much more at ease. That's enough questions. Okie dokie. I have... Shoot. What are your conclusions about Carl's murder? Just like the previous case, the cause of death is blood loss due to sharp forced trauma to the upper body. The victim has a bruised chest, likely from the impact of a hard fall to the floor. The killer then continued this brutal onslaught from behind to finish the job. Contrary to the previous case, I couldn't find any defense wounds on the victim. The killer would have to be both strong and fast to overpower Carl like that before he could react and call for help. 
It's certainly not impossible, but I think it's unlikely that a woman could pull that off without considerable training. This leads me to believe that the person we are looking for is likely an adult male in good physical shape. The time of death was sometime late last night, around 10 to 12 hours ago. All right, now that you've seen both bodies, do you have a theory? I think it's very likely that a single perpetrator is responsible for both killings. Both murders were premeditated. The killer came well prepared with the clear goal of killing each victim. The lack of struggle during the second attack could be an indication that the murderer learned from their mistakes during the first assault. Okay, thanks for your input. Think nothing of it, happy to help. What are your conclusions? Most obvious first. The murder weapon, hmm. I already examined the body at the crime scene. Not at the mo- Not now. It's not- It's not the right- Not at the- Oh, yeah. I couldn't recover any biological traces of the murderer. This makes me suspect that the, the time of death was rough. That's enough question. Okay. Nice and thick. Hey, what's that? I just need a quick mold of one of his fingers. Thought I'd use this clay here. Uh, I suppose that's fine. All right, this should work. Okay, hopefully this can fool the scanner. That combination makes... How on earth did they manage to assemble all of this undetected? This is highly illegal. I'll have to report it as soon as I finish the murder investigation. Some kind of large tank. Some kind... There's a valve on this pipe here, labeled O2. Oh, just my luck. Like getting in here wasn't hard enough. I need more to go on before I can try guessing the password. Odd looking thing. Some kind of live output of technical information. Big enough for two people. Recently used. Looks like someone is expecting. There's a letter here. Hey Kata, or should I use your new alias? It's pretty ironic since you're the least prudent person I know. JK. Anyhow, I'm sitting here alone, and it all feels so surreal. It's hard to believe that it won't be long now before we can let her out. She's ours, but not really. She truly belongs to the world. Bigger than the both of us, greater than the sum of our parts. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you saying, enough with the melancholy, Carl. We're so close now, we should be ecstatic. Anyway, I'm leaving this letter because I'm going away for a couple of weeks. My father passed away, I just got word and, well, I need to deal with things in the village. I'll be okay. We'll talk as soon as I get back. Love, Carl. Hmm. The letter is dated about a month ago.
I had a few questions. By all means. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? Sorry, I'm bad with names. That's all I know. Very well. Hello again. Hey there. Do you know who Katarina Berg is? Doesn't sound familiar. What do you think of Stina Root? The commissary is the only one at the station who has any regular contact with her. But my impression of her is good. She seems like a straight up woman. Speaks her mind. Did you know Maya Strand? Not really. I knew of her, sure. Most people in Nordson do, because of her importance to the museum. I hardly ever even saw her around, though. From what I hear, she was a bit of a recluse. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there. A hidden safe. Locked, unfortunately, but there's the keyhole. It's a fit. Huh. Since this key was hidden by Carl, it looks like we have a clear connection between the two victims. Let's have a look. A few bags of rare seeds, a bar of platinum, some coins, and a book. The book looks important. I'll take it. Maya must have hidden it here for a good reason. The title is The Conduit Codex. Now, wait a minute. This can't be the conduit, can it? Those crazy zealots trying to resurrect AI? I think this case just got a lot more complicated. There was a written piece of paper used as a bookmark. I put it aside. Let's have a look in the book. This was used as a bookmark. It reads, Console PW, Think New, Katerina. Katarina Berg, born February 2nd. 
Hey, Kata. Or should I? Anyhow, it's hard. She's bigger than. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm. Le I'll be okay. Some kind I'm not sure how I feel about this. What the? It's not too late. There'd be sacrifices, but it'd be worth it. <gasps> that was unsettling. They did warn me about the side effects. I hope that was just a brief glitch in my blue. I need to go and report these findings to Stina. But I should probably make sure the tank is stable first. I don't like that blinking red light over there. Odd looking thing. Stuck. The womb tank is closed. I should stabilize the womb tank before I leave. That combination makes no sense. I don't want to shoot that. All right, it's loose now. turn any further. Tank is It looks good now. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. How was your first day? Well, it turns out that the second victim, Carl, was up to something. And whatever they were doing, I'm sure it's somehow connected to the killings. Well, you got yourself one juicy case here. Those two lovebirds of yours just turned a double homicide into an anti-terrorism effort. Shit, you're right. Do we need to call for backup? Nah, you can always call in the local cops if anything big goes down. I suppose. So how active is the conduit these days anyway? From what I was taught at the academy, they're practically a non-threat now. Sure, we caught some of their head honchos, blew up a few strongholds, but it's hard to wipe out an ideology. All it takes is for a single book to remain in circulation, an idea to spring to life, and we're all back to square one. The relentless stance against those people always puzzled me. Or in our augs, technically, AI. Sounds like someone slept through the lectures on nanoscale distributed processing networks. I most certainly didn't. I just found it to be a bit of a gray area. <laughs> well, your augs do not use CPU cores for processing. They rely entirely on your existing neurons. Right, and since the nanites essentially piggyback on my brain, they're classified as a procedural system. You got it, perfectly legal. Enough about that, let's get back to the case. Sure. I found a functional womb tank in the apartment at Mamir Road. It had a living unborn child inside. Oh. Artificial wombs are highly illegal. I'll have to notify our superiors. There's more, Councilwoman. The tank fluid had traces of blue. Really? Now, how the hell did they get that? Any concentrated vials? Not that I could see. Be on the lookout. They might have a stash somewhere. I will. I wonder how the child fits into their agenda. Good question, ain't it? Want a hazard a guess? It's gotta be some kind of experiment, right? Bingo. These people are fanatics. That's what they do. Hmm. So what will happen to the child then? That's not for you to worry about. I'll get word to the city, and they'll send someone within a week or so. Meanwhile, I'll have the apartment put under surveillance. I'll get someone discreet, in case the Lady of the Hour returns. Understood. So, what are your thoughts on the killer? If we are indeed dealing with the Conduit, perhaps they had internal disagreements. Turned bloody. Could be. Either way, finding this gal who was hot and heavy with Carl should be your next task. Agreed. I'll do my best to track her down tomorrow. Good. Dismissed, Agent. We already talked. Hey, pretty girl. Time to wake up. Huh? Who's that? It's me, silly. Who else? Were you expecting other men in your bedroom? Oh, Alex. I had the strangest dream. I was on a murder case far away. In Nordsund, of all places. Ooh, exciting. Was I there too? <sighs> no. You were gone. I didn't care much for that part. Well, I'm here now. I thought I'd check on how you're doing. Oh, you know me. Always trying to figure things out. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Sorry for waking you. I just needed to hear your voice. That's all right. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. Good night, Alex. Good night, Vera. <sighs> and I thought dreaming of Alex was a thing of the past. Might as well get rid of some of that clutter from yesterday. No point in carrying all that junk around. Ugh, my head. Something is happening. Whoa, my eyes feel great. Everything looks so sharp and clear.
I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I don't see any... I already searched. Doesn't appear to be functional. Agent England. Good. You're up. Morning, gentlemen. We were just going to see if you're awake. There's been a freak accident of sorts. It's probably best for you to see for yourself. The timing is quite suspicious, given the recent murders. All right. Who is the victim? Leonard Dahl, the head of our new recycling center. He was killed sometime during the night. In a most gruesome manner, too. Very well. Let's be on our way, then. Here we are. Have a look around. The man standing over there is our witness. Got it. I'll let you know if I need any help. Understood. I'll be here. Gabriel? Yes, ma'am? What can you tell me about this accident? Nothing that isn't second-hand information. What do you know about the conduit? It's some fringe religious group, isn't it? Yeah. Terrorist classified. Right. Are they tied to the case? Sort of, but I'm still trying to figure out the details. Understood. Okay, that's... Roger that, ma'am. This says the machine works by grinding down organics into smaller chunks. The control panel here can be used to retract the grinding gears and access the chamber. 